What's up, it's YouTube Fanatics. Welcome back to the channel. Tim here, Energia Martial Arts. Ufuk is helping us out. We're gonna show you today some rolling back takes. It's really cool to do rolling back takes. We're not gonna do the seated bit in bolos. Let's just get to it. Us. Okay, so first let's uh, do a basic entry to get the concept down. We're gonna roll that way. We're gonna show you both sides. So let's start off in side control. Now we're gonna switch from a basic side control to Mushiro Kesukatami, so the reverse uh, Kesukatami, or what some I know is twist and side control. Now in this case, instead of going to the full mount, I want to control my opponent's far side leg, and the gi I would grab the, the leg and just lift it over. Now it's pretty hard to do this in live rolling, obviously. As I told you, it's just going to be a basic entry to get the mechanics down. What I will do is I will step over the leg and get to my knees. I want to pinch his leg. Now from this position, it's easier to get my bottom hook around his leg trap. We're going to show that in a second when we switch the angles. As I get up, I stay close to my opponent's hip and, uh, uh, and stomach. So I don't want to slide off too far to the knee. See the space between me and my opponent? I want to be very close. So my knees are close and I'm pinching my legs together. Uh, that will make sense in a while. Or I'm going to get a hook in. So the first one, I'm pinching my legs together. As I squeeze, I reach down for the far side trap of my partner. And very important, my face doesn't look towards his face. I'm going to look towards his feet as I'm going to roll over the shoulder. I have one spare or free hand. Usually in the gi, I try to catch some fabric and pull them into me or control this flag, especially in no gi, or I can base off whatever. I trap the far side, uh, I grab the far side trap and I squeeze my thighs together and my knees together to control his, uh, his top leg. As I roll, I'm gonna first control his weight and roll him on top of me. So it's not me going and then trying to curl. You see now I'm falling off my partner. I'm gonna stay close and we're gonna have conjoined weight together. So as I roll, I pull his weight on top of me like so. Now I'm gonna extend my legs, not towards the camera, but straight away, not up. Extend my legs as I pull his hip towards me and catch him in uh, back control. Yeah, so obviously it's hard to do it slow, but you can see I can still manage to get the full back, double hooks in, slow, the faster I go, the easier it is. But I first would recommend you to go slow so you get the mechanics down instead of just violently rolling. Let's do one more time this angle and then show the, the footwork. So you can start off with your partner inside, on the side or inside control as you switch. If you want to play this uh, twist side control with don't be low, because now Ufuk is really strong with his frames. He can push me down as the AB is up. So as I switch, especially from side control, I watch the microphone, please. I want to stay high in the armpit and go up here. Yeah? If he now wants to push me down, it's pretty hard. Usually we can step to mount, I can block here, I can catch the foot, go into leg locks, something I really like to do, but whatever. I'm gonna grab the far side leg, pull it over. Once again, just basically to, to do the technique. If the bottom leg is, is feeding in, could also be that I'm doing a leg weave. We'll show you different entries in a while. Step over, squeeze the legs, control the far side trap. As I roll, I extend that way, catch his hip, get my hooks in, work my seat belt. Okay, let's look at the other side. So you can see the foot, uh, the footwork a little bit more. Turn around, please. Nice. So it could also be that I'm like leg weaving. You see, now I'm blocking the bottom leg and controlling the top leg high. Same thing would be as I reach over, step over. Now, first one was squeezing the legs. What we could also do, what I want to show you here, is getting my inside foot hooked behind his knee. You see this? Like so. If we do this variation, I'm going to do the same entry control the far side trap as I roll, catch the hip. I'm gonna stop midair. So we're gonna be here, here. Now, instead of extending both my legs, this leg is free. What I really like to do is if I wanna go, for instance, into the truck. So if we go to the truck, yeah, we have a different video on that. I can lock down here, control this foot and start attacking the truck. I can go for the far side calf slicer. Yeah, I can go attack this side, go to a lot of stretches, a twister. But back to the back take, I was still holding the trap. Now I'm gonna put this foot on top of the heel as I kick both out, catch the back. Let's see it a bit more uh, pace without stopping in the truck. So whatever, leg weave or shiruka skatami, switch. Now we can squeeze the legs, I think that's easier, or you can hook this one in. As I catch the far side trap, I roll, I put my foot on my heel as I kick, catch the back. You see the transition? Should be fairly easy. Um, so practice it slow, squeeze, or hook and kick on your foot as you extend your legs, catch the back. Now, one minor detail that happens is people tend to overcommit. 
and I'd rather have Ufuk be, the best thing would be him on top of me so I can catch both hooks, or have him fall on the side that I have the hook in already. So in this case, I have my left hook in already. If we go here, and Ufuk falls, for instance, too much to this side, you see this? If this happens, it's okay, because I can still try to get my top, uh, top hook in and catch the neck and chase the back. If Ufuk, for instance, would fall too much on this side, now I can never get this hook in. And Ufuk will just turn towards me, AB out, and get on top, and I'd be happy to, uh, I should be happy to at least catch guard, but I've lost the back take and the top position. Now, how do you enter this position um, realistically? Let's do, a, um, let's do an entry from knee shield half guard. So he's trapping my leg, knee shield half guard. Boom. What I like to do is the first frame in knee shield half guard. We have a different a video on this on counter dog fight. I'll put a link up in the, in the video. So as my opponent starts regripping, I catch the arm and chase this position, the cradle. Now I'm going to do a little bit of change with the mic. So I just keep the knee a bit lower. Would we'll be, we'll be fine, I hope so. If not, just watch the video instead of listening to it. Now as I catch the cradle, we also have videos on the cradle. I like to step over and switch both legs and walk him up all the way in the cradle. Yeah? Now what tends to happen, or what I could force to happen, is as I catch the cradle and step over with one leg, he extends his upper body, boom, and my grip breaks. I'm gonna show you the different side. Now look at where my hand is. It's still on the same trap. I'm gonna come close, invert, extend, catch the back. Yeah, other side, so you can see Ufuk's uh, face. So, yeah, sure, turn it that way. So look at his hat. As we catch the cradle, let's do any form of cradle from this side. As I catch the cradle, and I don't keep enough pressure on the left side, and I step over, Ufuk extends his upper body, you see? My ass grip slips. From there, I catch the trap, and I can roll and enter. Let's do another one. Single leg X. I really like doing this if you wanna play a bit with fire. So we're single leg X. I'm gonna force the reap. I'm gonna force the outside reap on my opponent. Push his uh, leg down, yeah? I have to be aware of my heel exposure, etc. I'm gonna put my knee on the mat. From here, I back step. Now we're in the same position. As I squeeze my legs, go over, catch the back. Um, just play that back if you wanna see it again. And the final one in a smashed uh, 411 inside Sankaku. So let's just start off basic. If he gets the 411, sit down, yes. Good, left, yes, beautiful. So in 411. Usually, getting on top here should be very hard, but there, there are gonna be scenarios where you get a 411 and he's on bottom. Like he's trying to invert for Kanibasami or whatever, yeah? So he's trying to enter. If you have any trouble on understanding what I'm trying to say here, um, watch any of our videos on 411 or check out our full instructional BJ Fanatics, Black Box Long Part 1. So as I get on top in the 411, boom, or you get into this smashed 411 position, you see? This, this happens when he tries to invert and I smash him down. Now look, it's the same thing. My knee is already on the outside. I block, step over, and we're at the full position again. Now I'm gonna hit a wall, so I'm not gonna do the full thing. I can either squeeze the legs or hook again. So we have single leg X entry, force to reap, back step, get the back take. We have the Ushiro Kaskatami, we have the cradles, we have the side entries and the filled 411. Um, what recommended us to do the Delahiva one very quickly? So lay down. It's, this is, I think this is a different, this is a completely different mechanic. But as he plays normal De La Hiva, shallow De La Hiva, um, check out our shallow De La Hiva videos, I'm gonna strip the grip, I'm gonna control the far side lag as I switch to Ushiro Kaskatami here. Now instead of squeezing the legs, I'm gonna roll underneath, I'm gonna put my foot on the back side of his knee as I kick out and catch the back here. So guys, there's so many rolling back takes we can do today, but um, let's keep it at the basic one, the mechanics, squeezing the legs, catching the far side trap. Don't look at the hand, look at the other side. Stay underneath him, extend, catch the back, and see all the different positions you can go from there. There's tons of, uh, tons of more positions to go from, but uh, I hope you guys can drill this one. Thank you, Fook. Thank you, guys. See you next one. Peace.